Okay, <clears throat> so we have the concept of branches, right? So, so you have like the main GitHub uh, branch, but uh, for example, like if it's a team of like eight developers, maybe at any one time, they may be working on different uh, tasks. Like one developer might be fixing an issue or defect, right, a bug. Another developer might be working on a new enhancement. And then maybe another developer is working on a different feature, right? Stuff like that. So uh, those guys are branches, right? So we, we have a, let's see, I think I had a drawing. I want to do this from scratch. Uh, yeah, here, because I didn't want to write this stuff again. Okay, so we have the main, right? The main is where all the source code that will be used to create the next version of the application resides, right? So remember I said like one developer might be working on a feature, another might be working on another feature, somebody else might be working like some bug, and another one might be working on some bug, right? So all of them uh, create branches and as they are completing their work, they merge their changes back to main. So uh, that's what we're gonna mimic here. So you have main, I've created all the branches for you all. Let me go to the, and show you, right? So that's in the fall 22 uh, organization. So let me go to that one. Um, my profile. Okay, let me drag this over here. So uh, if you are in the fall 2022 organization, then you can click on master and notice there's branches that have been created for you already. So homework one branch has been created already. So if we go back and look at this diagram, assuming this is homework one homework one so you're going to create you're going to work on homework one and only when homework one works that means everything's green on your test cases your program runs it doesn't have any errors and then i grade it then before you start homework two there'll be instructions to merge back into main right so we're kind of mimicking like oh okay so i'm part of a team obviously nobody else is working on your code only you but at least you get to experience working with branches, right? So in git pod, right here, where you see the uh, master, you click on it, and then notice you'll see like the branches for you already. So if you're working on homework one, then you go here and before you start coding and you get all antsy to code always be like okay i'm working on homework one i need to be working on homework one branch so i need to make sure that down here it says hw01 data types okay so if you do that then you're on the correct branch and then when you check in to github you'll be checking into the correct branch right what happens if I check into the wrong branch? Well, actually, nothing, right? Like, you'll still get credit for your work. But I want students to get practice in working with branches because if you go work somewhere, they'll probably be working with branches and at least you'll more or less have an idea of what the heck they are talking about. <coughs> you won't be like me, like when I, when I got my first job back in the day and I was like, source control, like, what is that, right? Like, I had zero zero clue like of what they were talking about right so then obviously i had to like go research and find out what they were talking about but that's 
that's what you're going to be exposed to, right? So recall I told you, all, like I like to expose students to what it'd be like to work in the industry. And this is how they do work, right? They don't just start like coding and, you know, doing stuff in Maine. And, oh, I think it works. No, like it has to work, right? Because if you want to demand a good salary, then you better produce good work. And if you want to produce good work, then you have to have a workflow that's proven to produce good work, right? So write code, test code, uh, it fails, fix the code, uh, it passes, then go on to the next piece of code, test it, and then if you follow those steps, then I mean, you'll be producing uh, applications with fewer issues in the long run, right? Let's see here. Uh, what will the, well, ask one of your buddies, so. Jack. Yeah. Okay, so any questions about this? Am I going to get quizzed on this stuff? Mm -mm. These are not objectives for the course, but I want to expose you to, to the tools, right? Should I enable protection on my master browser? No, no, you don't have to do that. Like, you don't have to enable protection. Like, they can take our code if they want to. Whoever, right, hackers, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Any questions on branching, right? Do I have to understand branching? Uh, the only thing you have to understand about branching is at this level, okay, so the professor tells me that if I'm working on homework one, then this better be homework one. And when I check in, this better be homework one. And then when I start homework two, then he told me to click here and then go look for homework two. I click on it and then I start working on homework two. Yeah, like that. I mean, if that's all you understand, then that's good enough to get you through the homework, right? You're not gonna get tested on this. You're not gonna see it on any exam. It's just to give you practice for the future, right? It's for your own good. Okay, so let me stop this recording.